Good afternoon, this is Keith All, and today's topic will be on how to create a pivot table in Excel 2003. So let's first discuss what a pivot table is. Now pivot tables allow you to quickly summarize and analyze large amounts of data in lists and tables, which are independent from the original data layout in your spreadsheet. By simply dragging and dropping columns to different rows, columns, or summary positions. Now a pivot table can aggregate your information and show a different perspective in a few clicks. Now you might think of a pivot table is a user created summary table of your original spreadsheet. You create the table by defining which fields to view and how the information should be displayed. And based on your field selections, Excel organizes the data so you see a different view of your data. Now on this screen, uh, below is the original data set or table that I'm going to be working with uh, after I get done with these slides. We're going to jump over to Excel and we're going to actually create uh, a few pivot tables from this particular data set. Now this data set, it's a list of every sale during a specific period of time. And by creating a pivot table off of this table, it can summarize the data to show the number of number or sums of any of the columns of data. So as you can see, it has a date field, meaning the date that a sale was made, an invoice number or invoice reference, the total sale amount, which sales rep made the sale and which region this particular sales rep was in. Now below is an example of a pivot table which I'll create in a few seconds. And this pivot table would, uh, would be to show the total sum of all sales okay, for each of the salespeople. Now here's another example of a pivot table. And this would be to break down the total sales, okay, the total sales here, broken down by each of the months that the sales were made in. Here is another view by showing the total sales by region, okay, total sales by region on this side it's the north region over here it's the south region during each month of the year okay for each a sales rep here's the sales rep so this side the left side is for the north region and these sales reps were in the north region and these were the total sales that they made for this particular month and over on the right is the south sales region and these were the sales reps that made sales in that uh, particular month. And it will break it down even further by giving the north region's total, south region's total, and of course the grand total overall. Now the last um, pivot table that we'll create is Excel also has the feature uh, by using a page field option and the page, page field option is used for larger overall grouping. If we go back to the previous screen you'll remember that we uh, created a pivot table broken down by each of the regions was part of the criteria. But let's say we just want to show the north region or even the south region. And this is what this particular pivot, tail, pivot table will show. So let's go over to Excel now 
and I'll show you how to create all these pivot tables that I talked about in this slide presentation. Okay, let's go to the data set. This is the data set that we're going to be working with. Okay, first of all, when you're ready to create a pivot table, always make sure that your cursor is anywhere within the pivot table. Otherwise, if you don't uh, um, have your cursor within that pivot table, then it'll, uh, you'll have to type in the exact range that uh, the pivot uh, that the data set sits in. Uh, by having your cursor within the data set, uh, Excel automatically knows to grab this entire region or, or, or a region of cells or basically this entire data set. So your first uh, uh, thing to do is go up to the menu where it says data the data menu click on that and you want to select pivot table and pivot chart report so let's do that your options are here where is the data that you want to analyze it meaning is it in this particular Excel worksheet that you are currently in or is it an external data source or is it a combination or a consolidation of ranges so in this particular case, it's within this Excel list or database, meaning this is the data set that we're going to work with, that we're going to analyze. The next option is what kind of report do you want to create? This tutorial is about creating pivot tables, so I'm going to select the option, option of pivot table. So we're going to click the next button. Now, as you can see from this floating uh, uh, dotted line Excel automatically knew to select this uh, area because my cursor was within that uh, data set. It uh, creates the range here relative uh, absolute reference that we're going to do so now we're going to click the next button and the next option is where do you want to put the pivot table report now the first option is in a new worksheet basically I have uh, a few worksheets that are open within this particular workbook if I select new worksheet it's just gonna make another tab down here with a blank worksheet if I selected existing worksheet that means as long as I make the reference to that worksheet in this space meaning uh, a reference to a particular cell or uh, a reference to a particular name range within one of these sheets it'll create this pivot table within one of these sheets that I already have created but what, what we're going to do is I'm going to select a new worksheet and then I'm going to click finish as soon as I click finish you'll see down here a new worksheet that will be created so now we're ready to uh, create our first pivot table. Uh, down here, this tool uh, bar basically automatically pops up when you're ready to create the pivot table. This just gives you uh, some options to work with. This pivot table field list also pops up. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop the list of these fields which were in the original data set and we're going to drag them over here to create our pivot table. So our first pivot table is, and I'm going to go to my pivot table sheet here and we'll, uh, and we'll go one by one. So this first pivot table that we're going to create is going to be for the total sales calculated for each of the sales people within that data set. So let's go back to sheet one which is uh, where we're at. Again we're going to create uh, the total sales for each sales rep. So what we're going to do here is as you can see over here it says drop row fields here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, 
uh, drag and drop the sales rep column over to here. Okay. All you do is to drag it and drop it. As you can see, it created a column and it uniquely puts into each row uh, each of the sales rep's names that, in, that was included in the original data set. Now, it says here, drop data items here, meaning is, in this case, is I want the total sales for each of the sales reps. So I'm going to grab the amount field and drag it over here and drop it here. So as you can see, this is now a pivot table. It's a summarized table of the original data set and it shows, in this particular instance, the total sales that were made for each of the sales rep. Now if you want to format these numbers to have currency, all you do is select the range or select the column and uh, format it by right clicking on the, e e uh, the selected range and select format cells and now we want to uh, select currency with two decimal places with the dollar sign symbol and if you want negative numbers in parentheses uh, you select that and click OK. So now let's widen this column and now you got your um, um, numbers now formatted correctly. So that's the first data uh, pivot table. So we're going to go now to another uh, to create the second pivot table. And now this pivot table is going to be for this one over here in which is it's going to uh, create a table or summarized table of the sales figures made for each month of that particular year. So now let's go back over to the data set and let's go uh, up to data again select pivot table we're going to select an existing database or list we're going to create a pivot table, click next. It's going to select the data range that we want, click next. And this message just basically tells you it, since a, um, a data uh, pivot table was already created with this particular data set, it's going to say do we want to use that one also and the uh, answer is yes. We're going to select it, click next, and do we want a new worksheet or an existing worksheet? We're going to create a new worksheet and click finish. And here we are again so we can set this up. Again, we're going to take the total sales for each month of the year. So in the row fields here, we're going to uh, drag and drop the date field. And in, in the data uh, items here, we're going to drag and drop the sales amount. So as you can see here, it populates each month of that particular year. But as you can see, there are, are not necessarily duplicates, but there were multiple sales made within a particular month. So uh, what we want to do is we want to group it individually uniquely for each month. So in order to do that, you select the column and you right click and you want to sh uh, click on group and show detail. Come over here and select the group option and we want to group it by months. So as you can see now, it consolidates multiple sales that were made in January just to one row. And again, it shows us so total sales here. Again, if you wanted to format this column, do the option of uh, using what we showed in the previous uh, pivot table by formatting the cells. So now we're going to go on to our, our uh, next pivot table.